This is the Dollamore Daily, and I'm Jesse Dollamore. Today's video is brought to you by Stamps.com. There are certain people in American politics, especially since Donald Trump, who really don't deserve to be there. I'm not talking legally or constitutionally that they're not qualified under the parameters set by our founding documents. I'm talking about qualified from the perspective of, one, being a fan of democracy, but also having a basic functional understanding of the very document that they raise their right hand and swear or affirm to protect and defend against all enemies, foreign and domestic. Marjorie Taylor Greene may be among all of the, the grifter class of politicians is worse at this, the, the, the very worst. And she has become elevated. It used to be when she first came on the scene that Marjorie Taylor Greene was a, an outlier. And the reason of recent months over the course of the last year that I've started talking about her being the mainstream of the Republican Party is because she has become a media darling of people like Tucker Carlson. Of course, your Newsmaxes and your OANs, of course. But Tucker Carlson and Laura Ingram and your normal run-of-the-mill mainstream Republican um, commentators have brought her under their wing and given her as much airtime as she can take up. And it is dangerous because it gives your average Republican voter the sense that, yeah, this is mainstream. She's normal. She's smart. She's qualified and capable of being a representative in our democracy. Dangerous. She was on Laura Ingram's show last night whining about the treatment, of course, the treatment of the January 6th insurrectionists that they're rotting in prison, but also made some, some alarming, dangerous proclamations about what they were doing there, essentially asserting that to violently insurrect your government is a protected, a protected form of speech protected by the First Amendment of the Constitution. I'm going to play it. Get ready. It is nutty. Before I do, though, a word from today's sponsor, Stamps.com. They say time is money, right? And that if you save money, money will save you. There is nothing worse than squandering both at the same time. I don't know about you, but if I never spend another afternoon in line at the post office simply trying to get a package in the mail, it'll be too soon. That's why Stamps.com is here to literally save your day. Stamps.com enables you to mail and ship anytime, anywhere, right from your computer. Send letters and ship packages without even leaving your home. And save a bunch of dough with discounted rates from USPS, UPS, and more. Want to save yourself both time and money? Sign up at Stamps.com slash Dollamore for a special offer that includes a four-week trial plus free postage and a free digital scale. There are no long-term commitments or contracts. These benefits are a no-brainer. You don't need any special equipment either, just a computer and a regular printer. Stamps.com also integrates effortlessly all your commerce sites, Shopify, Amazon, Etsy, eBay, etc. And the big win with Stamps.com, you'll get discounts you can't find anywhere else up to 30% off of the United States Postal Service rates and 86% off UPS. For more than 20 years, Stamps.com has been indispensable for over 1 million businesses. So why not stop wasting time and start saving money? Use Stamps.com to mail and ship. Sign up at Stamps.com slash Dollamore for a four-week free trial, plus free postage and a digital scale. Just go to stamps.com slash dollamore and you'll never have to go to the post office again. So let's let's watch this clip together. Um, I, look, I am no constitutional expert, but even when I was a young man in the Marine Corps, I, I, I toiled over learning as much as I could about the document, about the history surrounding its writing. And it... it 
It bothers me, to say the least, that even when I was a Republican and dedicated time and effort and brain power that I didn't really have into learning about the document, that this class of Republican doesn't care about that. Especially knowing that Marjorie Taylor Greene is speaking to someone who is trained to understand the Constitution. Laura Ingram is a lawyer, an educated person, an Ivy League educated individual, who pushes back in no way to the lies and the insanity that's being spewed by Marjorie Taylor Greene. Watch this. A slap in their faces, and it's such an insult to think that if you dare go address your grievances with your representative or actually go and use your First Amendment rights, that you may end up thrown in the D.C. jail and, and maybe you never see the light of day like the people that are still there rotting away. I mean, all of this is so it's so insulting and the hypocrisy is screaming and it's deafening. And I just think it needs to end. It's awful. It is a remarkable thing to watch someone who has been voted uh, for and put into office by a constituency and then swears allegiance to a document that they have zero idea what is in it. The First Amendment does not protect the right to violently attempt to overthrow your government. Some of you may be asking, well, ah, she didn't say that. She did say that. We all witnessed what took place at the insurrection. We witnessed that it wasn't a peaceful, tourist, happy family reunion, trespassing event. There was violence. There was a concerted effort to overthrow the United States government by stopping the certification of the Electoral College votes, from stopping Joe Biden becoming the dutifully, lawfully elected president of the United States. It was an insurrection. By all accounts, by any definition, it was an insurrection. A failed coup. It just was. And so when she says it's a slap in their faces, and it's such an insult to think that if you dare go address your grievances with your representatives or actually go and use your First Amendment rights, Margie, 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 they weren't ad uh, address your grievances. It's actually redress of grievances in the Constitution and the First Amendment, if you knew I don't expect you to know the ins and outs of the document to which you've sworn loyalty to. They weren't addressing their grievances. There is a, a formal manner with which you do that. They weren't peaceably assembling, which is in the Constitution. You know what? Let's do this. Here's the First Amendment, Marjorie Taylor Greene. Congress shall make no law respecting an establishment of religion, or prohibiting the free exercise thereof, and here's the part you need to learn, or abridging the freedom of speech or of the press, or the right of the people peaceably to assemble and to petition the government for a redress of grievances. That is the First Amendment. It's not addressing grievances. It is redressing grievances. I mean, this is semantics, this, the particulars of the, of, the, of the Constitution. But being someone who's an expert in the Constitution, Margie, you should know, right? Well, you vilify the press, which just happens to be mentioned in that very same First Amendment that you like to quote incorrectly. There was no right to overthrow the United States government. That is not a part of the system of redressing of grievances, redressing your elected representatives. And for Fox News and Laura Ingram to give this a platform is dangerous because the unwashed, low information, uneducated audiences of Fox News will lap this up like a dog at a water bowl. They think this is, yeah, yeah, she's making sense. When they haven't ever cracked, they may have a pocket constitution they wave around, like my goofy parents, but they don't know what's in it. They have no idea about the history of our founding. 
what was being attempted in this experiment we call America. All they know is gods and guns and owning the libs. Fox News will be, it is, it is causing, is fomenting the collapse of the United States of America, gleefully, as they cash their million dollar checks. What do you think? I would love to know. You can call, leave me a brief voicemail, 714-576-4054. Of course, you can email me, daily at dollamore.com. We are in trouble. Follow me on social media. I'd love to connect with you there. I am at Dollamore just about everywhere. Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, at Dollamore. And if I bring you value, if I do something for you that you think is important or worth $1.99 a month, you can click the join button below this video, become a channel member here on YouTube, pennies a day, or on a completely separate support platform, you can go over to patreon.com slash I doubt it podcast and help support my work there. That's not just for the podcast. They just won't change it. Let us change the web address. <laughs> it is for the podcast and it is for YouTube. I love you guys. I appreciate you so much. I'll see you next time. Have a fantastic weekend. Be genuine. Take care of one another.